evening to you wherever you are. The first piece of news to bring you is the fact that the heavens have opened a rainy night here. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And on the way, live action from the Segunda División. Stuart, this ought to be a terrific spectacle. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Welcome to another episode with Andalusia and today we are playing Alcorcón uh, away game and we are uh, letting our reserve squad play this game and I'm really excited because the reserves have been good in the game they have played so hopefully they can um, pick a point in this game uh, and yeah I will be excited for this one and uh, hopefully McDonald here. Oh, what an opportunity! And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Chance to cross. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? manager must be pulling his hair out because as those stats confirm they've played really well up until that final third but the shooting has been woeful at times they need more composure in front of goal oh Stewart, an opportunity and a goal in the lead again fully deserved well as you can see he hits this with so much power just look at the follow through, so athletic, that's a dynamic strike. Let's look at this again. To 
pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. And now Sanchez. It's a good looking ball in behind. And tossing through. And a goal! What a magnificent display in such a one sided contest here. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter attack is so impressive, and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal! in there to take it away breaking at pace oh what an opportunity oh a finish of real class no wonder he's celebrating say goodbye well let's look at this again Derek because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the finish is so clever he just gets his toe under the ball and beats it over the keeper that's a lovely goal. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time. And it's a victory for the visitors. Well, we talked before the game about their poor defending, but today it was all about their attacking play. They really did show a lot of quality in possession, particularly in the wide areas. That was a good win for them. Yeah, what a lovely victory! The reserves strikes again! Uh, they're really making a push to getting more playtime, I gotta say. And that has to be the strength of a squad. Uh, the amount of players that can make a good games for you is really important if you want to have a good team. Uh, and oh, Gurtado's goal in there. What a lovely goal. That was a beauty, absolutely beauty. Um, but hey, it's one game. Still need to keep our focus on the next one. Uh, just three points. We need more of these games. But great one. Absolutely great one. on one man three goals in his last three games he's in sparkling form we'll have the action on EA TV well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator a warm welcome my name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me ready to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson and what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from the Segunda División and what a game this promises to be, Stuart. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. For a second game this episode, we're going with our first squad. Uh, because uh, Lugo, who we are playing against, is a team on the upper half of the table. They're a good team. So yeah, I hope Marin could uh, make more goals than just 3-1, uh, you know he hasn't done any scores in the two other games after that, so yeah, Marin, step up please, I love, I would love it. That's what you call defending from the front, possibilities here, and the keeper more than equal to the task. 
seem to get out of their own half, and that's done. Goalkeeper getting in the way, superb save. Well, I didn't think I would be in this situation. Two wins in a row. Uh, yeah, and uh, Lugo was, is a good team. So I'm very happy about this win. And uh, yeah, I have to lift up two players who have been really good these two games. Bustos in the midfield have really showed that he want to stay in the team. And Mendes, I, I know he's old, 37 years old. He's scoring goals. 
He is absolutely a monster out there. I wish he was 10 years younger so we could keep him for a long time. But uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, when uh, Mendes decides to retire, we will give him a job in the club. Absolutely. He's one for the history books, you know. Uh, 37 years old and absolutely dominating. You gotta love it. Fuck.